So tell me about the new one. It looks bold. It looks uh, yeah. in your face. It looks this, cool. This is so exciting yeah. because in, in this generation, we were, we were really able to take styling to a new level and actually integrate new technologies with it too. And, and the headlamps are a great example of that. Can we go look at the headlamp? exciting about the headlamp. Um, it's all LED yep, yep. and what's spectacular about it is these four thin crystals, that's actually the high beam. It's an industry first. No one's doing this and it's called a, a total internal reflection where the, the LED actually comes in at the side and all the light gets reflected off of prisms and then comes back out. And then of course these five, all crystals with LEDs behind them are the low beam and all of each individual crystal forms a different light, uh, part of the light pattern of the full display. And then you've got the Cadillac Signature DRL. So this is, you'll find this in every other Cadillac. So we're able to take LEDs, which is really becoming, not an industry standard, but really becoming popular now, it integrated into style. Every car has its own jewelry, right? For yes. lack of a better word. Yes. And that kind of expresses what the car DNA is at this point. Exactly. So part of so when you talk about the style and you talk about Escalade, part of the DNA then of the vehicle has been the grill and the headlamps. And so this is this is where we're going. It's um, it's a Galvano chrome. It's not a bright chrome anymore. So we're kind of upscaling, more of a sophisticated look. Um, maybe even a more mature look, but it's still bold, almost like um, James Bond. You know, he's a mature, but he's still bold and exciting. So. Like you. Uh, that sounds so good. I like that line. Okay, so you've got this beautiful front end with, with all of its style. And what we were able to do on the side this time around is um, we gave it some drama. And so when you look at this feature line, and it goes all the way to the rear, it, it comes off the doors, and then you, you, go, you go concave and you come back out. And the beauty of that is that now when the light hits these side panels, it reflects and, and gives a lot more color. This is a beautiful color called dark granite and when you get real sunlight on it, it, it just is an intense, deep color. So we're able to take more design and get it to work for us to really show the color. These are 22s? These are 22s. <laughs> be 22s. You know, we, uh, we have 20-inch 20, 20 wheels are standard, yeah. and you can go right up to, uh, all, to nine different 22s. We've got um, some accessories. we got two straight from the factory. But we have a real big collection of accessory wheels. Let's look inside. Let's, this is the... This is probably the biggest story we can even tell you here. The, the inside, we've taken craftsmanship and detail just to the next level. We're really happy the way this has turned out. Um, when you talk about high-end materials, everything is wrapped, and we spent a lot of time going, um, layering this and making sure we've got the right type of um, stitch patterns that, that go from a suede material to the, the leather wrap to the wood and we're going back and forth in here um, just to give it a real deep richness. And when we talk about the detail, I mean, going through here, yeah, go this ahead. is the end cap. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we have wrapped the end cap. I mean, you don't even see this till the doors open. You know, I just did an interview with Aston Martin. Okay. And they did the same thing. Right. And so, this is a much cheaper vehicle. Right, but it's that's where we're going when we talk about the attention to detail. And so, um, again, integrating technologies with style, we've got a heads-up display here, we've got a 12-inch reconfigurable system, we've got um, the Cadillac Q. Let me see if we can even... Uh, Activate it? Yeah. Let's see, here we go. Okay, let's see what pops up here. Yeah, it's a, up. Uh, come on, come on. You're seeing Pretty the part cool. of the boot up screen, and then we jump into... So, it's a 12-inch uh, reconfigurable that has a lot of, a lot of depth to it and stuff. Um, when you talk about other technologies that come in here, we've got five USB ports. We've got an SD card. We've got the uh, auxiliary. So when you want any connectivity, Sorry. we've got a lot the of it seats? there. Rear seats. Yeah. Okay, we've done a couple things. You want to go in this way or the back or both? Okay. Okay. All right, we'll go this way. There you go. So. 
you come into the second row, we spend a lot of time actually on making ingress, egress even better. So this, this pillar here, we've thinned down so there's more foot room. We've moved this pillar back so that it's a lot easier access to get in and out. And at a touch of the button, we can just fold these seats and they fold right up. So take the whole family or in case of the rear, we'll, we'll go down. Let's go flip those down okay. and look at the cargo capacity we have. Oh, let me, okay, what I'd really love to show you yeah. is uh, if I had the key fob, we have a hands-free lift gate. Maybe you can just push the button. Yes. That's all right. So, so okay, so what we have here then is, as, um, as all of our customers have asked, we have a fold flat third row system. So we've got two sets of buttons here that um, bring the third rows down. Look at that. In what, about three seconds, two very or three fast. seconds, so it's very fast. And then we've got another set of buttons that'll take the second row down. And so the nice part about that is you're, you're at Home Depot, you're at the store, wherever you're at, and you're trying to load it up. I don't have to open the lift gate, go to the passenger side, come back, go to the driver's side, and then come back here to throw it in. I can do it all from here. So it's just, it's, it's a smart design, and we're really happy the way this one turned right, out. Let's talk numbers, what's under the hood? The engine's a great story let's, too. Let's, let's go, let's go around there. All right. You want to pop it open or, okay. All right, I'll let you do that. Yeah. Maybe. It is. Okay, so that's not bad. This engine is a great story. Um, this is an all new 6.2 liter engine. And I say it's all new because it's very different than the, um, its predecessor where the whole accessory dress is different. And it's so efficient we even needed to add a vacuum pump on it. But um, we're, up, we're up to 420 horsepower and we're up to all the way to 460 foot pounds of torque. So, so same, same engine in the Silverado basically? No, nope. Uh, nope, the Tahoe's, Yukon's don't get this. Okay. To your point, we do share it with the Denali. Okay. Okay. So the Denali is the only other one that we get it in. So the other part that's really interesting, what we're able to do when we start from a fresh design, is that uh, direct injection. Nice. High pressure pump. They they often have a lot of uh, noise, a lot of ticking noise. We're actually able to bury that in the cradle of the cylinders, isolated it there. Then you get the intake manifold on top of that, so you virtually eliminate that noise altogether. And of course, the big question is, what's the MPG? Uh, we haven't announced that yet. It's right. not certified, but it is up to. Uh, we're expecting somewhere around an eight nine percent improvement. So efficiency's up, fuel economy's up. Horsepower and torque are way up, so it's a great story. And how about how much does it cost, and when will it be hitting the dealerships? Uh, the 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 answer you never want to hear is we haven't announced pricing yet. All right, fair enough. And uh, we're expecting it'll be in dealerships in the second quarter of next year. So pretty soon. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. And yeah. It's a 2014. 2015 model 2015 year. 15 model. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time great. to chat with me. Thank really you, Roman. Thanks. All right. Utah first on the fast lane car.